Hi, happy good morning to children. Welcome to Lakshmi study room. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the, the first chapter in 9th class biology textbook. That is cell, its structure and functions. So in this video, we are going to learn about the, the differences and the similarities between the plant cell and animal cell. See, these are two diagrams given in your textbook. The first one is a plant cell and the second one is a animal cell. See these pictures. So first before we are going to know about this structure. So in this picture what we are going to learn in this picture. So first before we are going to learn about the differences and similarities between the plant cell and animal cell. First we should know what is the cell. So, already the lesson name itself it, to, it tells us what is it one cell is a basic structure and functional unit of the life. That means any living organisms are made up of cells only. Without cells no living organism are there. So, in our body so many organs are there like heart, heart, lungs kidneys, liver. So, all these parts, sir, how can they constructed? So, with the help of cells only, they were constructed. So, similarly, our human body has some of the parts like head, neck, hands. In this way, the cell, as a cell has also, see this picture, this one is a plant cell and this one is a animal cell. So, cell has also some of the parts inside the cell membranes, the green color. So, this part and this part. So, all these parts present inside the cell membrane. So, that's why these are called as the cell organelles. So, the cell organelles, what are cell organelles? The parts present inside the cell membrane are called cell organelle. Then, what is the main function of the cell organelles? So, in our body, heart has a some specific function. What is the function of heart? It circulates the blood to all the parts of the body. Similarly, each and every cell organelle has a specific function to carry out. So, before coming to the videos, we can learn what the cell or what the function and what the process will be takes place within the cell organelle. So, but in this video, we can learn only what is the differences between the differences and similarities between the plant cell and the animal cell. First, we should know the different similarities. Similarities means some of the cell organs present in this say, plant cell and animal cell as well as. For example, see this picture. Nucleus. See this one? This one is a nucleus. So, nucleus will be present in the both plant cell and animal cell. Similarly, cell membrane. So, cell membrane. Cell membrane is a cell membrane. Otherwise, it will be called as a plasma membrane. That means the cell will be covered with a one membrane. This membrane will be called as a cell membrane or we can call it as a plasma membrane. So, it will helps to separate uh, this plasma membrane will helps to cell, uh, separate the other cells and it can give the shape of the cells also. So, it acts like a compound wall. So, how compound wall protect the our house from the strangers or other things, animals. Similarly, this plasma membrane also protect the cell from the other uh, toxic materials or other waste materials also. So, that means uh, plasma membrane is present there in the plant cell and animal cell and nucleus is also present there in the plant cell and animal cell and similarly mitochondria. So, mitochondria is also present in plant cell and animal cell and Golgi apparatus. This one is also present in the plant cell and animal cell and cytoplasm. See, the fluid part will be called as a cytoplasm. So, entire that means the cytoplasm present below the cell membrane and outside of the nucleus, the jelly-like fluid part will be called as a cytoplasm. So, these are the similarities between the plant cell and animal cell. So, children, see, nucleus and nucleus is present in the both cells and plasma membrane is present in the both cells and endoplasmic reticulum will be present in the both cell and vacuoles are also present in the both cells and uh, Golgi apparatus is also present in the both cells and mitochondria is also present in the both cells. So, these are called, what are these called? These are called similarities. Now, we are going to move about the differences between the 
plant cell and animal cell so what is the difference is here the parts the cell organelles present in the plant cell which were not present in the animal cell similarly the parts present in the animal cell which were not present in the plant cell not only for that some of the exceptions are also there first let us see this nucleus so what is nucleus nucleus the main function of the nucleus is so how we can control we can we will work under the control of our brain similarly all the cell organelles work under the control of the nucleus that's why nucleus will be called as a cell brain of the cell that means nucleus can control the various functions of the a uh, various functions are metabolic activities of the cell organelles so this is nucleus see the the difference is in the difference what is the difference between the plant cell and animals in, in regarding nucleus so nucleus is present in the plant cell in periphery that means it should be arranged at the on sink corner but in animal cell nucleus is present in the center of the animal cell so this is the first difference and see the green color substance cell organelles see this green color cell organelles so these green color cell organelles will be called as a chloroplast or plastids so plastids are present in only plant cell which were not present in the animal cell and this one is see this vacuole this is the yellow color see this yellow color part so this is the large color part will be called cell organelle part will be called as a vacuole in plant cell one or two large size vacuoles are present in the plant cell but see in this the small bubble like structures which will be called as a vacuole so many vacuoles are present in the animal cell but which were smaller in size when compared to plant cell so plant cell has a large size of vacuoles animal cell have a smaller size of vacuoles but more number but vacuole plant cell have a one or more one or two nucleus uh, vacuoles are present in the plant cell only the next one cell wall see the this is one is a plasma membrane so outside of the plasma membrane plant has a another wall another membrane which will be called as a cell wall so this cell wall will be will be absent in the animal cell so see this one cell wall is absent in the animal cell but what are the parts present in the um, animal cell which were not present in the plant cell see centrioles see this one centrioles are present in only animal cell absent in the cell so now let us revise once the differences between the plant cell and the animal cell so see this one so plant cell which has a which is in larger size compared to the animal cell but animal cell is smaller in well compared to the plant cell and the nucleus present in the periphery in the plant cell but in animal cell the nucleus is present in the center of the animal cell and plastids are present in the plant cell but which were not absent which were absent in the animal cell so plastids main function what is the play my main function of plastids plastids can prepare the for so, plastids are plays a major role in photosynthesis they can trap the solar energy with the help of solar energy plants can prepare their own food by using sunlight so that's why plants are called autotrophs next vacuoles large size of vacuoles are present in the plant cell and small size of vacuoles are present in the animal cell and plant cell has a cell wall around the cell membrane but which was absent in the animal cell and animal cell has a centrioles but which were absent in the plant cell so these are the differences between the plant cell and animal cell so okay thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the